Sure, coats are necessary to navigate these rough winter streets, but PSA, you need outerwear all year long. With unpredictable temperatures always around the corner, you don't want to get caught unprepared when one morning you wake up, it's literally freezing, and you realize you're in need of something heavier immediately. The thing, though, is that there are so many types of coats and jackets. Each one has a different use case depending on the weather, or which one you think looks more cute with your outfit, TBH. Before we get started, please be sure to to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell so that you can always be in the loop for more fun, feminine fashion content. If you're in need of new styles and want a primer on all the types, we've rounded them all up for you so you'll be an expert in no time. Yes, sometimes they seem the same, but the length, cut, closures, and material can all make a big difference in what type of coat it is and how it looks on you. Another confusing thing is the distinction between coats and jackets. I mean, we all use them pretty interchangeably without much thought, but coats are typically longer and hit at your thighs or lower, whereas jackets usually end at your waist. But then again, things like cropped coats and long jackets exist. So what is the truth? Anyway, below are generally the different kinds you need to know about. If you don't already do, so you'll be prepared for fall and winter. Get ready to bundle up in these different types of coat and jackets. Oh, cashmere, arguably the fanciest of all fabrics. Yes, it's expensive, but it's also amazingly warm while still feeling ultra lightweight. Casting a net off the docks, but make it fashion, right? A toggle coat is closely associated with fishermen and has its history in the Navy. This mango one is a winter must-have. Not all puffer coats are down, but all down coats are puffers. Get it? But what is the difference, you ask? Down styles are made specifically using duck or goose feathers for insulation and extra fluffiness, like the Amazon coat here. And now here's your puffer. This one will keep you nice and warm while still making any outfit look good. It's faux fur lined and has a hood to protect against any elements. This Sam Edelman one will keep you warm in the coldest of temps. Yes, this looks vaguely like a parka, but hear me out. Anoraks are shorter, are usually pullovers, and have drawstrings around the waist like this one, so they can be cinched. It's different, okay? You already know this one, duh, but it's a staple that literally everyone needs in their closets. A fall must. Everyone needs a leather or faux leather jacket for those days that are too cold for a hoodie, but not quite cold enough for a full-on winter coat. Going for a sporty look? Get yourself a letterman jacket. It usually has embroidery or a patch of a school, or in this case, the brand's logo on the front, as well as contrasting stripes on the collar and sleeves. Peacoats are usually double-breasted, meaning that they have two columns of buttons, and this one will keep you warm all winter long. Want to feel like you have a blanket around you at all times? That's where faux fur coats come in because, wow, are they warm? With these, you can get that super soft, fluffy fur feel but still feel good about wearing it out. Loose fitting and breezy, a duster is usually left open so it swings with each step. If you're more drawn to neutrals, this simple gray one is calling your name. Like the name suggests, these are a longer overcoat style and have a sleek, simple silhouette. And this tan one is undeniably chic. You'll def want a trusty raincoat to prevent you from getting damp and miserable. It's also another great transitional style. Wear it with sweaters in the winter. And then with t-shirts, when the weather warms up, wear it as a dress or wear it as a jacket. I said, what a low-key brilliant idea. Loving the color combination of this style. These have overlapping front flaps with symmetrical columns of buttons on each side, so these styles wrap a little more snug around your body for a tighter fit. If there's only one column of buttons, then it's single-breasted. It makes this burgundy coat look minimal and so elegant. If you live in a place with brutal winters, a wool coat definitely keeps any chilly air at bay thanks to its thick, heavy fabric. But just because it's a very functional material doesn't mean it can't be stylish, too. Take this sophisticated Buck Mason one, for instance. This is similar to a faux fur jacket with its degree of fluffiness, but it's closer to a coarser, shearling material. 
The quilted fabric feels like a dream and it provides insulation since each section usually includes padding. This one has fun patchwork seams that create an interesting pattern. When you're zipping down some snow-covered slopes, you gotta have a jacket that protects against the icy wind and any wipeouts you may have. While you can find other less expensive versions, it's worth it for a high-quality style, for that sweet insulation and aerodynamic silhouette. These tend to have a boxy shape, no shortage of pockets, and are typically made of denim or waxed canvas, i.e. durable fabrics for roughing it. If you're hiking or camping outdoors, you def wanna add one of these to your cart. These are the ultimate transitional piece between winter and spring, and they feature buttons and a belted waist that you can adjust or tie. Usually they're in shades of tan and khaki, but you can find them in other colors too. Looking for some subtle texture? Get in on these materials. Just stay away from any water or snow while wearing a suede style to avoid damage. The bomber jacket is a classic silhouette. Long worn by pilots and now by everyone else, they're characterized by large sleeves and fitted elastic on the cuffs, waist, and collars. Slightly oversized with a high collar, this silhouette is super easy to wear over even the chunkiest knit. Like the name suggests, you'll really be bundled up in this layering friendly jacket type. Ladies, which of these stylish coat fashions would you like to try? Kindly leave a comment below. Also, what other topics would you like to see videos on? Remember to like, share, subscribe, and click on the notification bell so that you won't miss out on the latest uploads. Thanks for watching and remember to keep on flourishing. Toodles.